I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. We'd like to thank the Northeast Cannabis Business Conference for their support of the Marijuana Money video. We'll be in Boston next week at the conference and we'll tape our video there. Maybe we'll see you. Go to the website now and buy your tickets. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Did you know that a BDS Analytics report found that in 2019, sales in the markets of California, Florida, and Oregon were 3.3% higher on Valentine's Day than any other day in February. East also reported a 20% spike in orders on Valentine's Day. So, looks like people are giving a different kind of flower. Okay, we're gonna have to get the bad news out of the way. This week, Aurora Cannabis gave a disappointing earnings report for the second quarter. Their total net revenue fell 26% to 56 million in the second quarter from 75 million in the first quarter of 2020. The company also reported that the adjusted EBITDA loss was $80 million in the second quarter, and that's versus 39 in the first fiscal quarter of 2020. The interim CEO warned that the third quarter was going to show little to no growth. Supreme Cannabis joined the layoff club this week when the company announced a 33% reduction in employee headcount at the corporate level. Kentucky hemp farmer Jen Canna Global filed Chapter 11 reorganization. CLS Holdings said it saw a drop in its January sales. Still though, the 2020 January sales were better than in 2019. Revenue increased 49% from last year's 0.73 million to this year's 1.5 million. Okay, now having said all that, not everything was terrible out there. Neptune Wellness actually reported a solid quarter. That company delivered net revenues for $9.1 million. That was a sequential increase of 2.6 million or 41% over the second quarter. The company also had net income of $5.6 million for the quarter versus a net loss of 3.6 million for the same time period in 2019. We have a couple of new partnerships to talk about. Tilt Holdings and its vape subsidiary Jupiter Research has partnered with the vape device company, the Blink Group. So perhaps there's strength in numbers for vape companies. And Old Pal announced that Kiva Sales and Services will be their distribution partner and the first to service them for the state of California. Now, if you don't know Old Pal, this brand took Nevada by storm and quickly became a top selling brand. And that's it for this week. We'll see you in Boston next week. And remember, if you'd like to sponsor the Marijuana Money video, just email us at info at Green Market Report. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting from our New York City office.